we've seen how things have moved, how things have transitioned over the time. Now, I'm saying all this because I want us to get, have a history, an understanding of how the music industry works and how things work. Ghana has had its time. Nigeria seems to be enjoying right now. But if you ask yourself, how can Ghana music get to where it was some years ago? Let's not forget, when you talk about Africa, if I bring it down to West Africa, Ghana and Nigeria are the loudest. How many times do you hear from other African countries making noise? South Africa is huge, mm -hmm. but how many times do they really get into our conversations? We don't really care Not about really. them. Yep. Tanzania has its own music industry. Mm -hmm. How many times are we talking about that? Kenya, mm -hmm. Congo. How many times are we talking about that? You but any exactly, but anytime you are talking music or you are talking football or you are talking politics or anything, it's always Ghana, Nigeria. It's always Ghana, Nigeria. We've always had that rivalry because we all want to see the best. Everybody wants to be the best at what they do. And that's how come these conversations come in as to Ghana music, Nigeria music. And I always have my own problem when we start having those conversations because I keep saying that Nigeria is not our competition. Nigeria is not our competition. Ghanaians should stop that fixating. Like we, we are so fixated on anything Nigeria that it's always Nigeria. Yes, they are doing it. And you always want to look out for the best. But listen, Ghanaians have played shows in, in Gambia, in Sierra Leone, in um, Liberia, and sold out sports stadiums. Yep. Shouts to Kwame Eugen. See, years ago, Kaki was selling out RNS in Gambia, in Gabon. Yep. yep. Ghanaian music That's... is being consumed elsewhere across Africa. Africa is bigger than Nigeria. Mm -hmm. There are so many other countries where Ghanaian music is being consumed. Why are we so fixated on a country that doesn't want to allow you in? When there are other territories that are allowing your music, why don't you take advantage of that? There's a bigger market out there. Why are we so fixated on Nigeria? Why Nigeria? So, do we think that yeah, to me breaking Nigeria and I said the whole Africa, Betty and Kana said, they, did yeah. we go through Nigeria before Gabon and all those places heard of us? No. As musicians, as artists, as as talents, they see their dashboards, they see where the streams are coming from. Mm -hmm. Take advantage of that. When Camilo Hashiga came, he started touring Tanzania and those places, right? Why? Because he saw yeah. a market there. Yeah. And he started tap into it. Yep. Artists don't just wake up and move to places. Everything has to do with science and data. Look at what's happening and make the move. So for me, our fixation on Nigeria and everything Nigeria, whenever a Nigerian achieves success, then hey, we begin to bash Ghanaian artists. It's, prob it's problematic. Let's start disabusing our minds of the fact that everything is nigeria see nigerians are taking over the world right they are doing the us the uk how about Ghanaian artists decide to start taking over africa place nigeria aside start mm -hmm. looking at the other countries yes start entering those territories small by small before nigeria is done with the us and the uk you have taken over the entire african continent and your music is everywhere let's not forget that the world is now listening to music from Africa, Africa. and not just Nigeria. Yes. So if you start Facts. grabbing those small territories, mm -hmm. start grabbing those small territories, it becomes a bigger one. You conquer Africa. Yes, see, uh, uh, little drops, little of, water drops of water. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Start tapping them. You forget about what they are saying that, yeah, we want to be in the UK. Yes, forget it. Start tapping these small, small African countries. Boom. You have a bigger audience. Africa